There's a saying that great minds discuss ideas, average minds discuss events, and small minds discuss people. So keeping in line with that premise, this is a short video to address the reckless statements made by the hosts of a popular podcast regarding their dating preference, which is to not date black women, and specifically the ideology that particular preference supports. When it comes to dating and your personal preferences, it's no one bats an eye. When women say I want a man that's six feet tall, makes a certain amount of money, blah, 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 those are considered preferences. But if I say, hey man, I don't date black girls like that. Oh, God. You hate black women. How oh, dare you. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. It's ridiculous. My mom's black, your mom's black. Yeah. My sister's black, like bro, we just have a preference. If we hate a black woman, would we bring African Amer American women and black women on the show? Okay, but the, All the, time. the, the let, question. Let, let me finish, let me okay. finish. Please. We would not if we if we had a, a issue, an issue with them. Bruh. Our dating preferences are our preferences. Just like you have the prerogative as a woman to date a man that makes a certain amount of money, a height, income, whatever it is, no one bats an eye. We are free to choose who we want to hook up with and date. Like, what the hell? Like, there's nothing wrong with having preferences. The problem in this case is that contrary to the argument that not dating black women simply reflects a dating preference, these two hosts have an established pattern of making discriminatory and derogatory statements on air regarding black women that indicate that there's more to it than that. What about the black dating app called Black? <laughs> oh, I, it's funny, I never used that one, bro, but oh, hey, man. man. <laughs> I mean, hey, bro, if you want to date a bunch of Shaniquas, go for it, man. LaQuisha. I, yeah, like I, me and Fresh aren't really down with the brown nah, like that. Man. We ain't night Riders. Nah, so bro, I'm good. Uh, you know, sometimes if they're, you know, red bone, but like in general, me and Fresh uh, don't dabble in the dark, if you know what I'm saying. Yep. God damn, that was racist. That was racist. It's safe to say that these two hold a prejudice against black women. Under normal circumstances, that could still possibly fall into the category of personal preference. I ain't gonna lie, just, just keeping it real. I don't really date black girls. <laughs> <laughs> it's not because like, no, no, like, like most black girls are like Snake. annoying. How to put this a uh, ratchet and they don't know how to like be Carry reserved them. you're like the complete opposite you are so not the stereotype you, you are not, not the stereotype you are not the same but the fact that they host multiple shows each week which rack up millions of views for their youtube channel each month and they hold an influential position as quote unquote mentors and gurus with hundreds of thousands of subscribers that pushes their public statements into a completely different context especially with them being black men, at least visually speaking. Hey, where are the white women at? If you have a dating or mating preference, hey, do you. Live your life, date who you want, love who you want. Just don't go out of your way to denigrate black women in support of white supremacist stereotypes. Because once you do that, it's no longer simple preference. That points to something entirely different.